So today is the day that we are going to be filling the barn with bottle calves. And uh, I guess you couldn't say we're really gonna be filling it, but we have room right now for up to 20 calves. And you can see that we've got the chains hooked up on all the stanchions. We've got straw bedded down for them. And uh, we're gonna go to the sales barn and buy a few. We could buy up to 20, but Travis called earlier and they told him that um, don't count on there being that many there. So um, we're gonna go there for the start of the sale. Who knows, maybe we'll just get one or two calves, but um, we, what we aim to do is build up the calves over here for this group, and then maybe finish raising these by bottles in maybe September, and uh, wean them off then. And then the next group, we could expand and maybe do the lower side. And fun little fact is that the reason we have all of them hooked up on this side and not down here is because this barn is actually slanted and over here it's not sinking so much but over in this corner the ground has started sinking underneath the barn so the manger especially leans that way um i should come back here and show you guys but uh yeah it's it's been sinking for a while now and it's been getting worse over the years I'll show you where the floor of the barn used to be. This is where the floor of the barn used to be. Yeah, uh, it's sinking pretty good. Uh, it's sunk quite a bit since we stopped milking in here, but I don't think it's much of an issue because um, as far as this barn goes, it's reached the end of its lifetime and it hasn't got too much life left in it. So, um, yeah, maybe in our next group we'll work on this side, but if we were to have calves in here, what we, what I'm afraid of what would happen is that whenever they pee or poop, uh, it won't run off into the gutter. It'll collect underneath them uh, like it did for the cows that were on this side. Over here, the cows usually stay drier because the because the water would run off and the gutter but um yeah so we're gonna hop in the truck we got the trailer hooked up i'm gonna turn the fans on to air it out a little bit in here and uh hopefully we'll come back with a few calves we also are going to give them a shot of duraxin which is like penicillin uh, i haven't i don't have the bottle or anything and we all we're also giving them a nasal a nasal spray and I think that's to kind of keep back the, um, kind of hold back the viral infections or whatever. So let's go. I was going to say. The heck? <laughs> yep, I'm taking that one home. <laughs> then do you hear the hook? You hear that one? Nope, oh, that's. She's like, guys, we just broke 225 on that one. It's just like, <laughs> oh, nope, nope. My hand didn't go up anymore. <laughs> Wasn't me. Four. 
Five with this one, yeah. Come on. Just so you realize, that is the heaviest one I had. Come on. That's right. I want that kind of enthusiasm I go to pee later. Watch it. Watch it. Yeah. Now you guys don't believe me, but it's blast furnace in here. Mm -hmm. Come you on. walk into the bar, you can tell the difference. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Woo. I'll name you Fred. Woo. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Woo! Come on. Oh. Tie in here for now. Hello, boys. Mine's better than yours. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's it. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Come on, buddy. Whoa! Come here. So we came down to Travis's to get this bottle of Draxon as well as the electrolytes for the calves. The electrolytes are to help them stay hydrated uh, since being put through stress like that can cause calves to get scoured and um, can be a leading cause of death in calves. So we're feed, gonna feed them electrolytes after we feed them their milk for the night. And this Draxon is an antibiotic. It works very well. And the reason we use it, use it, what we try to do is when we get the calves, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give them all a shot of this because in the past when we, raised, we have raised calves, all the ones that were given a small shot of this survived. Uh, it's like miracle juice, really. <laughs> and this one bottle is 500 bucks. So it's got its own little safety container to keep it from getting Destroyed. There was a safety label. So we're gonna give them that, and then we got one other thing. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but um, that's the cocktail stuff that we're giving them tonight for their first night in the barn. So we just gave them the direction, and we are about to give them bovine rhinotrachitis para influenza three respiratory sinusitis. Virus vaccine. Sound it out, sound it out. Ooh. There you go. Boy. It's more I than learned that word when I was in kindergarten. Yeah. This is made out of the old alternator for the 46. And some rod that Travis found. Oh 
more. got the calves all fed and they are settled for the night we got them fed the electrolytes as well and we didn't have much of a problem feeding them they all drank really good and uh, hopefully they'll st they're still all doing all right in the morning uh, but we'll see so uh, yeah thank you all for watching be sure to check out all of our other videos be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to check us out on Facebook Instagram Twitter and snapchat all how farms work so I'll see you next time guys